action. Well, an article in one of China's biggest newspapers has suggested that New Zealand's tourism industry is about to take a big hit. It says Aotearoa has fallen out of favour with Chinese travellers. It quotes one would-be tourist who says New Zealand is stabbing China in the back. For their takes, we're joined by this morning's Breakfast Club of Penny Ashton and Elliot Ikele. Good morning. Good morning. What do you think about this? Do you think that New Zealand and China's relationship is in demise? This just seems like a whole propaganda thing to me. Like, it's like, where is the proof for all of this coming from? I mean, it seems to be stemmed from the ban of Huawei, which is happening all over the world. And I actually read something from Canada that was saying that they see New Zealand as a soft underbelly foot to the Five Eyes network. So China can sort of attack New Zealand, doesn't have the same clout as the US and mm. Canada and stuff like that, and malign us and make us look bad, like we're going to roll over so that then their 5G can roll out all over the world. So to me, it's like, get out of our politics. And it's so many manufactured. That's what I'm feeling about. But they've got so much power. They can actually affect our economy. Uh, well, what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say that this is actually showing us two things. One, that the government are not the honest, open, transparent people that they say they are. Uh, and it also shows that they really don't understand the Chinese government mindset as well. I'm married into a Chinese family. I know quite a few Chinese groups and businesses as well. The this is actually an exertion of control by the Chinese government. And we're already seeing it overseas with the US trade disagreements, yeah. uh, as well as even things like Fonterra moving over and losing a billion dollars and them owning a Christchurch bowling plant. This is the exertion of Chinese control. It, so they're, what doing do think... what, they're doing what they would have always done, which is to gain control over anything. You look over in the Pacific Islands, they are throwing money all over the place. Mm. Mm. They are seeking to have those loans being paid back. And when they are not paying paid, that's when they are taking control of various elements of that area. So what do you think Fishing rights, trade routes and everything like should that. should do, as you know, like, because would National yeah. not have done the same thing with the banning of oh, Huawei? I, do, I actually agree. I think so, yeah, that sorry. we should not have had Huawei uh, engaged in that. But we have to be straight up and realise that this is actually a, a movement of China that we've been seeing over years because they play the long game. Mm. Well, I mean, they, I are think seeking, this they are seeking to take control but of the government. Uh, I think Elliot's point is that the government hasn't said that they perceive any deterioration or change in the relationship well, with well, China. Well, they're not going to admit to it, are they? Because, the, you know, the, the, and everybody will go, oh, we have to remember China's such great for our economy. Mm. So which one is it? We have mm. to decide whether to assert our own dominance or, like, care too much about what we're selling them. Either that or they do know what the what China is like and so this is their form of sort of trying to well, save face course. or... It's, yes, geo yeah, it's the see, geopolitical that, dance. That again goes to the whole idea that we're supposed to kowtow to mm. China. That's actually what this is about. And if we do that, then we, we open ourselves up to more. While they're doing what they're doing, which is best for China, are we doing the best thing for New Zealand in terms of allowing bottling plants and allowing yeah, these areas not. of business going forward? The problem forward? is we're actually just stuck right in the middle because yeah. not only do we count out to China, but we also do to the United States. So yeah. when That's they're not getting along, it's like, uh, uh, The yeah. soft <laughs> underbelly yeah. thing, you know, they yeah. see us as a way to try and exert mm. influence everywhere. Yeah. And this government's stuck in the middle of all this. And then National's like, oh, deterioration with China. Oh, mm. you know, and it's like, well, which is it? We've kind of also decoupled our trade interests with our security interests. Completely. Obviously, yes. the US, yes. we need them for our security, yeah. so we're kind of stuck in this rock and a hard place. Yes, very much. Yeah. Very much. Oh, well, we're all stuffed. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Well, actually, maybe, you like, know, no. maybe we're not, because it was funny. We had uh, we had two students on this morning who are organising what they hope will be a, a nationwide protest from high school students in New Zealand regarding an action f around climate change. They were so articulate, they were so optimistic, they were so bright, and I found it really inspiring. Fabulous. Um, when I was in school, there was a strike in high school. A, an impromptu strike against teacher strikes. So the students thought that they were striking Brilliant. against the teachers striking by striking. <laughs> uh, I didn't do it because I was a goody good. Yeah. And uh, but, but no, heaps and heaps. I don't know, right? <laughs> heaps, heaps of students did it. I feel like this is a is a is a much it's so better organised idea. Yeah. Like you're as students, you're like obviously they're striking for better conditions or better pay as the teachers, and you're like, mm. we don't do that. We need our exactly. education. Yeah. It's so twist. But these guys they are striking or want to organise a strike for climate change. It's amazing. I think it's incredible. Like we need the youth of tomorrow. Like you know to to. And obviously, everybody's looking around now. Every year's getting hotter. There's all of these storms, etc. Climate change 
is a thing. And you know, and this is their future. This so. is their future, exactly. Yeah, These are the guys who are gonna have to live with the consequences. Yeah. But they can't vote. So, I yeah. mean, this is the, like, they're stuck, and I guess this is their mm. only way to, to I, make some noise. Mm. Well, I mean, I think there's a couple of elements there. And one is the wonderful inclusion into the community, so they are engaging in the process that we allow, which is protesting. That's awesome. I'm sure Labour actually really love it because it assists their own ideals of loving strikes so much. <laughs> I, I would say also, it might be also quite good to have, have the students also look at other elements. For example, climate change, great. Why were over 1,500 jet planes cruising off to uh, Davos totally. and making a massive carbon yeah, yeah. print? Perhaps it could have been done on Google Hangups or something. Totally. Perhaps the students could also look at the ideas around $1.4 billion being taken out of our economy and sent overseas. Well, students, what does that do? Does, and how could we use well, that so money? I think they want the governments to look at that. Yeah. Yeah. So the students mm. want the governments to deal with that. And, you know, and that's going to the Pacific mm. who are dealing with climate change because they're yeah. drowning underneath the rising. I, I think waters. it would be good to increase or help, help the idea ideas of critical awareness, engaging in critical awareness, mm. saying, all right, this is the idea that's being fed to us. Let's have a look at it. Mm. Is it and correct, not correct? What, what is? they're doing. Yeah. yeah what? They're taking I read one 12 year old was like, I've taken it upon myself to educate myself. Like this incredibly articulate yeah. 12 year old, you know, so that's very. Uh, I generally feel extremely pessimistic about climate change. Yeah. I just like I, ha I have often queried whether our species has the capacity to actually when you look at how to much sort it out. Like because we're, we're so, well, we're just so, sh we're, we think about things in such short terms, yeah. short periods. You Election know? cycles like, as well. Exactly, also, right? We're also tied to a growth model. Yeah, yeah. It's unsustainable. I know, so. exactly. It's like, Again, why do we keep also, <laughs> but don't, all the time. don't forget that the largest climate change areas, or the ones who are who are engaging in a lot of this, it's pulling a lot of people out of poverty. For example, India and China. Mm. Yeah. If we're talking about that, yeah. they need those materials in order to make the products that they are able yeah. to lift themselves out of. Yeah, deep and, poverty. and the West has benefited from fifty years a fifty year head start. Yeah, exactly. They've cashed in. Yeah. So it's all good for us to criticise it, but I so get, right. you know absolutely. Yeah. But something has to happen, and absolutely. it needs to come from government. Um, Lime scooters slash e scooters. Wellington's finally allowing them or having a trial. <laughs> Them. Uh, are you guys fans? I am, but I just hate how a certain group always ruins it for everyone. <laughs> you know, like, I've seen people going down Victoria Street, which is quite steep, no helmet in the middle of the road. You know, it's just like, just stop being, like, all down Baldwin Street. Stop being dicks, people, because they are actually awesome. You know, I really think, I hate the way people just park them willy-nilly. But they're great. Like, my husband, actually, his e-bike was getting fixed, so he limed <laughs> to pick up his mm. e-bike. Oh, wow. Peak 2019. You guys are so woke. I know, I cycled here today, in fact. <laughs> 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 but I like them. Yeah, I, I love live scooters. I think they're quite fun and, and cool. I would say I have an issue with when they first came out and you had children running around, even mm. in Queen Street, mm. the children should be able to run around without getting knocked out totally. by one of these. So I like lime scooters. Uh, if people who are rolling down hard down Victoria Street, if they get owned, yeah, what? yeah. If your, they own themselves, fault, then, and when yeah. they come like you know right around you, it's like you need they need a bell or something to say they're coming, you know, yeah. because sometimes it just gives you a fright, you know. And I was thinking yeah. something about who was blind, was really worried about them because of their canes, etc. And I get that. So just stopping dicks. Yeah. With your scooters. <laughs> Good luck just with generally. that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just generally stopping dicks. Yeah. Stopping dicks, New Zealand. Yeah. Ten uh, quarter, guys. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you.